Hey everybody, this is Kasu and welcome to yet another ARC mod review. This time we are going to go through the mod ARC the Primal Path. ARC the Primal Path adds three new creatures. Uh, the Utaraptor, the Nanoxaurus and the Gigano Gigantosaurus. Uh, but this Gigantosaurus is a little bit different compared to the original Gigantosaurus. Now, without further ado, uh, let's begin. Starting with the smallest of the three, which is the Utaraptor. So, for the Utaraptor, how do you tame this creature? Well, to tame this creature, uh, it is the usual knockout tame, where you just shoot a bunch of Trank Darts into his face, and it will knock, the, knock out, and you just have to feed it food. Alright, so, uh, for the Utaraptor, the left click is a standard bite attack. Ow. The right click is a kick. This kick will actually slow down creatures, as you can tell from this chest on top. Great for chasing. While holding right click, you do a small stomp attack, uh, useful for any creature smaller than an Utaraptor. And lastly, C key is a claw swipe attack that deals, uh, that hits twice rather. Also, this claw swipe attack can be used to harvest uh, plants, even though it is a carnivore itself. And one more thing is that uh, it can't really, it can jump. Like as per normal, if you are running, it can jump like this. However, if you are to try to run and you face a single direction and you hold space bar, it will start in this uh pound state where depending on how where you aim, you will jump really really far. So yeah, that's it. That's the uh Uta Raptor and this blue one there's a blue one here apparently. Now up next is this furry boy. Uh, it is the Nanoxaurus. Uh, even though it looks like the paleontology accurate Rex with just a lot of fur, uh, it's way smaller than a Rex by a long shot. However, this creature has one special ability uh, that is very interesting and useful, especially in PvP. Left click is a standard fight attack. Alright, so to introduce the next part of the ability, I have to summon a few tracks and let them be feared. So my right click actually nullifies the fear from uh, all the creatures while also nullifying the buff for the creatures buffed by the U Tyrannus, making this a perfect counter to the U Tyrannus. As you can tell, the circle immediately disappeared, and my Triceratop, if I roll one more time, his fear also immediately disappeared. They will be immune to fear for around 10 seconds before you need to do that again, but fortunately, you can just spam uh, right click to roll. Uh, I'm not sure, I, I apologize if this video, or rather this melee, doesn't really show it, but yeah. Also, one thing to note is that the Nanoxaurus himself does not nullify the fear for himself. He only nullifies fear for the rest of the uh, creatures in your party. So just be careful about that. And yeah, uh, that's the... Hold on a second. That is the Nanoxaurus uh, currently running away from a Utah Raptor. Alright, uh, for the next part of the mod showcase, uh, I have to show you how to tame this Gigantosaurus. As you can tell, the Gigantosaurus isn't exactly uh, the monster that we know and love, uh, not the Godzilla that we know and love, and also please ignore the uh, fucked up looking trap. Right, so the tame this creature, it is a mix of the Acrocanthosaurus from Garuga's mod and also the uh, Tropiok from the original game with the chain bola. So how do you do this? Well first, uh, we need guns. So, so start taming this creature, uh, you need two things. One, uh, guns to quicken the process, I you I'm gonna use this minigun. Second thing you need is the this the ballista and take a look at one. Uh, just need to equip the ballista with a bunch of chain bolas, and I will now proceed to gun this guy down. And now that he's doing the Raging regen. That means he's now angry. You will need to chain bola him. Like so. 
and while he's uh, raging and he's regening, you can see that he is currently um, healing up from the damage, so don't worry about killing him, just shoot all you want and you'll regen it. And from the notes, you have to do this multiple times until he's knocked out, because he will have to use a attack, which is a hitbutt attack, which will basically knock him out. So I'm gonna rinse and repeat this until it works. One hour later. Okay. Um, I'm unsure of what's going on, but I am unable to knock this guy out. Uh, I thought it was a bug, and I tried using the train train bullets, but it doesn't work. Um, I have been, I have literally, you know, shot him a thousand times. I chain bullet him quite a number of times and I even tried uh, using another Giganotosaurus to try out but seems like it's not working as you can see the trend or rather the proper value is not increasing at all and I'm unsure of what to do with that because the uh, wiki or rather the um, discussion page uh, shows you that shows you how to tame this creature is that you have to annoy the Giganosaurus until its uh, meter is full. Once its meter is full, he will start uh, doing the raging regen, which he will start uh, going to rage mode. And then you have to chain Bola the Giganosaurus while it's raging, and this will prevent it from using its bite attack, which will result in hit bite attacks that do recoil topper damage to itself. However, even after I, you know, do this, Activate his Raging Regen. Bola him. He somehow still can use his Bite Attack. Like that. That's his Hit Bite Attack and that's supposed to deal Topper. But for some reason he still can do his uh, Bite Attack. And the Hit Bite doesn't really do any Topper. So yeah, I'm not very sure on how to tame one properly now because it seems to be bugged but with that being the case i shall still go over the abilities of the one that i force tame myself okay so uh i tried the i tested around with the giga notosaurus a little bit and i'm unsure of whether it's a bug a glitch or whatever but this is what i found out so to start his ability his left click ability is a standard bite attack that bleeds uh this bleed as you can tell is doing 28 per tick However, if I were to increase the Giganotosaurus's melee damage, this bleed, as we saw a brief moment just now, uh, let me do that again, this bleed increases to 37. So yes, this bleed scales with the Giganotosaurus's damage. However, this bleed on the discussion page stated that while the creature is moving, running, or doing, um, uh, just doing any form of uh, movement, it will increase the bleed damage however as you can tell from these two that i bitten um they are walking but the bleed isn't doing much however when it comes to this triceratops which can charge and run it's a bit more different as you can tell the bleed is extremely high like yeah the bleed is extremely high for some reason so I'm unsure of how on whether this increase in damage from moving from moving uh is implemented correctly or not, but this is what I observe. Next up is the right click. The right click is a hit butt that deals significant knockback. Like so. Next up is the C key, which is a very slow but powerful stomp attack. I'll try it again. As you can tell, it's quite slow and it deals that kind of slow attack. And lastly, uh, control key is just an aesthetic rock. Which, honestly, despite being a Giga, is an exactly very impactful. And that just about wraps up this mod showcase. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye!